Hello guys. Uh, so today what I'm gonna do is to um, install this on my car. This is actually um, a fuel cell, so it generates hydrogen hydrogen from uh, electricity. It just converts electric electricity to like chemical energy. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I want to save fuel. So I don't probably you guys have heard about this. Um, putting hydrogen into your in your engine with your your gasoline mix it with your gasoline so it, it became more um, efficient so why it's efficient the reason why is just because hydrogen helps to burning all the fuel that comes into the, the combustion chamber so normally um, when there's no hydrogen the the gas that is coming in into the engine a uh, part of it doesn't burn it just pass through the combustion chamber and go in on the in the exhaust without burning so you lose gas actually this way so with the hydrogen uh, pretty explosive so uh, when it comes in with the fuel it burns all of it so basically the way that I'm gonna make the hydrogen is with the electricity from the alternator of the car so I actually tried this a few months ago With uh, another type of like fuel cell that is more that is more um, basic. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna try to explain to you. This is a, a pot. Fill it with water, and I don't know if you can see, but inside it there's some stainless steel plates, and each of these sta stainless steel plates are uh, connected to these two um, bolts. And one of these bolts is is connected to the positive of the battery. The other one is connected to the ground. The way it works is that the current flows through these uh, this metal uh, bolt and into the stainless steel, stainless steel plates, and there's a gap between the the ground and the positive. So when the the current flows through the water between those two plates, it's it's actually separate, separating the um, hydrogen from the oxygen of the water, and the the hydrogen and oxygen of the water goes up because of the pressure and into this pipe. So it's actually HHO that is going through this pipe, pipe and then it comes in to the engine. So this is the new fuel cell. Um, the reason why I build it is because it's more efficient than this one. Um, the reason is because this one have access to all the, wa the water that it needs. So it takes too much a amps to uh, generate the hydrogen and that's not good, that's less efficient actually. So with this one, it's supposed to be more efficient because there's there's just gonna be enough water to generate the hydrogen, not more. So it's gonna be less amps. Um, also, another reason that it why it's better is because this one, the water tank is actually the generator itself. So I need to every time I need I need to unscrew this this and fill it with water, then screw it back. With with this one. The tank is gonna be separate from uh, from the generator, so there's gonna be a tank there. There's gonna be a, a water pump. This pump is gonna be controlled from the inside with a variable resistor, like a potential meter. And uh, there's also gonna be a an amp meter to uh, so I can see how much amp is coming into the generator. So the tank is gonna be mounted probably right there. There's gonna be the pump and then coming into the generator the generator is going to be mounted there where the uh, the older one is and uh, the output is going to go into the engine so the output of the generator is, is basically the hydrogen and oxygen the hho so yeah let's get let's get to work
Okay, so uh, this is the small speed controller that I made for the water pump to control the speed. It's a variable resistor with a transistor. So um, those two wires are coming from the engine bay. Uh, this one is uh, the positive wire coming from the, the ignition, so 12 volt. And this is going directly to the 12 volt, the positive of the 12 volt pump. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, this red wire is connected to the positive of the battery, right there. The yellow one is connected to the output and the brown one is connected to the frame. Uh, it's the ground, so I'm just gonna, there's a screw under right there where I'm gonna mount it. And it should work pretty good. Uh, also, this uh, potentiometer, I'm gonna make a hole right there. And it's all gonna be hide behind the plastic, so it's gonna be clean. And I'm just gonna have a small button right there so I can control the speed of the pump. So yeah, let's get to work. Okay, so uh, everything is installed now, as you can see. So I'm just gonna explain to you how it works again, but now that it is, it's, it's all installed. So the water tank is right there. There's a hose going from under the tank to the inlet of the 12 volt pump. So this is pumping the water um, into the generator, into this line, and the, gener the HHO generator is under right there. It's connected to the to the ground and positive with those two uh, lower bolts, um, and the power comes in this way. Uh, also, I I made a, a small speed controller for the pump because I, if if it's if it used the full power, it's gonna like overpressurize the the tubes and the tank's gonna um, be empty really fast. So I'm just gonna explain a little bit the the electrical system how it works. So. Uh, basically, what I did is that I, I found inside the car a place where there is 12 volt only when the, um, the key is at the, the on position. And from there, I, I, I took um, a, a wire that is going through this uh, solenoid, 12 volt solenoid. And that's what is turning off on the rest, my, like new, my new electrical system. So when I turn the key on, this solenoid, solenoid is, turning, is turning on. And from this solenoid, I connect multiple things like the lights in front and um, there's a CB inside, stuff like that. But I also ma made another lead that goes to this other solenoid right there that is controlled from the hydrogen uh, switch. So when I, I turn the, the hydrogen switch on, a 12 volt is coming into this wire, this solenoid is turning on and then the power flows from um, from one side of the solenoid to the other and into the HHO generator. So that's how I, I know uh, if, it's, if, if it's working or not. So that now let's test uh, everything. I already put water in it. The, the hydrogen line is inside. I'm not gonna start the engine, I'm just gonna see if there's hydrogen generated. So I'm turning on the key and I'm turning on the hydrogen. Okay, yeah, so you can see a little bit, I don't know, there's hydrogen coming out of there. So in the next, um, if I do another video on that, I'm going to do the, the whole testing thing and see if there's a, like a difference in fuel efficiency for real. But for that's going to be all for this video, so thank you for watching and see you for the next one.